awesome guys this is Lilith from Unix Play to Earn. If you find this video useful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified for future crypto and play to earn game contents from us. So without further ado let's start. If you have heard about crypto you must have heard about NFTs as well. If you still have some questions about NFTs well folks you are in the right place. We will be discussing NFTs in the terms that anyone would easily understand. NFT stands for non-fungible token. But wait, what is fungible and what is non-fungible? Fungible is something you can change to something that holds the same value. A $20 bill could be exchanged for two $10 bills or four $5 bills. This works even if they are not the same item, such as exchanging gold for dollars or exchanging Bitcoin to another cryptocurrency such as Ethereum. By the end, you would still get the exact value of what you have traded in the first place. On the other hand, non-fungible is unique and therefore could not be traded interchangeably like money or cryptocurrency. Take the painting of Mona Lisa, the Starry Night or the Last Supper for example. Back in the year 2017, a guy sells grade 10 pristine cards of Pokemon Charizards worth about 500,000 US dollars. The most expensive one. Uh, the most expensive card is probably the pristine 10 first edition base Charizard. Okay. So how much do you want for these things? I'm looking for right in the area of $500,000. <sighs> do you mind if I have someone look at this? That's fine. Rated 10s? I believe there's less than 50 PSA 10s in existence. And by looking at this, there's 20% of the market sitting on your counter. But now, it can be worth around a million dollars each card. And in February 2021, Logan Paul posts two first edition Charizard cards worth about one million dollars today. We have the poker pets. <laughs> It's beautiful too. It's An NFT means it's unique and one of a kind. And although an imitation could be created, it is not considered authentic. Although there are some factors people use when telling a value of a painting, there is no 100% foolproof way of telling how much value a painting exactly holds. Contrary to the example we've provided with the dollar bills, where you would end up with the same value. So now we know the difference between the two. Let's dive deeper and focus on understanding what NFT is. NFT is a digital asset that may have represented something tangible or intangible before they were created, such as art, music, collectible, game items, and many more, even a tweet. NFT is stored in a tamper-proof, unchangeable public ledger called blockchain. From there, they can then trade their NFTs to cryptocurrency and later on, exchange it for real money. So how do we create an NFT? It is made via minting, which is the way to get exclusive rights on an asset you want to turn into an NFT since its unique data can easily verify your ownership. Many platforms in the present can help you mint and create your very own NFTs. This gives artists, designers, game developers, and many opportunities to take advantage of the NFT ecosystem to monetize their wares. Even the NBA has joined in the fun and has used this to sell NFTs that represent clips of highlights from their basketball games with NBA top shots. Not to mention, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's first tweet NFT selling for $2.9 million. And with that, we can then conclude that an NFT would have those characteristics. A unique digital signature to maintain ownership and uniqueness. Online tradability. Visibility in the blockchain to verify the ownership after trade. NFT have started a few years back, and time have shown that it will definitely be a bigger part of our digital economy in the years to come. So that's it guys for this episode. Support Unix Play to Earn by following our social media channels. See you again soon. Bye!
Unix. Play to earn.